<laughs> I couldn't decide which intro to do. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I'm doing a first impression kind of comparison video type of a thing. You're probably wondering, Cassie, you look all done up and ready to go. Like, I'm pretty sure that's not how your first impressions videos work well. <laughs> there is one thing that's missing on my face. I'll get to that. I mean, you can read the title if you want, but basically, do I need to explain this? I got, okay, I'll just, <laughs> I'll tell you. I don't have on brow setting products quite yet, so I'm gonna be testing out and comparing brow wax this goes with this, <laughs> and brow gel. So they're by the same brand, they're both Anastasia, so we don't have to compare between companies to see which one is better. Uh, we're just gonna see which product is better because, you know, I'm curious. I've always been a wax girl. I mean, you can tell, I mean, this is what I use, tried and true. But I got this brow gel in my Sephora, Superstars, All Stars, whatever it was called kit for Christmas. And I've always been curious because I feel like everyone on YouTube uses brow gel. Basically, I feel like the boob of YouTube. Not because of my actual boobs, but because I'm the outlier. Anyways, so I'm gonna be trying these out today. I'm quite excited. Today is basically a pajamas day. I mean, the shirt that I'm wearing is just like, I mean, it's essentially a pajama shirt. It wasn't from the pajama section though, so justified. And then I'm wearing my fancy sweatpants and I just, it's, it's one of those days. It's also really cold outside. I don't, what happened? All of last week, like, I had to have my windows open, like, I was crying already. I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna die without AC this summer. I mean, I can turn on my AC if I want, but, um, I'm gonna try and conserve some money and whatnot by not doing that, but, so I was really upset, like, sweating all through the night, like, and if there's one thing that I don't like, it's being hot at night. I can't sleep when I'm hot. I mean, I can, I figure it out. But anyways, it had been really, really hot for like a week straight. Like even just like thinking about putting clothing or a coat or something on my body, just like, it was not pleasant. And I would start sweating just from the thought of it because I'm a sweaty person. I can't help it. Trust me, I wish I could, but I can't. And then all of a sudden I went to bed like normal a couple nights ago, another sweaty night in the sheets. Don't, don't take that the wrong way. I woke up in the morning and I was like shaking. I was like, what the heck? And then I get up out of bed. It's like 54 degrees in my apartment. And I see there's like ice all over my apartment building and like snow on the ground. I was very, very confused. I'm still confused because my phone told me that it's like 30 degrees out right now. So I have to get my scarf and stuff. Uh, they might still be on my chair. That's basically storage to me. Oh, and by the way, if any of you mentioned the mess behind me, I swear. I don't wanna have to kill anyone today, okay? So, control yourselves. It's been a crazy week. The last thing on my mind has been cleaning this. Anyways, this is all so not important. Let's groom the brows. I'm really excited. Like I said, I have used the Anastasia brow wax stuff for a long, long time, so I already know this is an absolute winner, but I have never tried the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, so it'll be a first impression in that sense, but then we're gonna do a comparison. Let's try these out, shall we? All right, there we go. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of brow waggling in today's video. Please excuse the two zits that I have in between my brows. You know, this when you have a unibrow, that happens. Hair is getting grown and then you get pimples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So on my right brow, it'll be on the left of your screen, I'm gonna do my typical, typical wax application. I just put this in the brow area lightly. And then I take this old mascara wand covered in Galileo hair. We're gonna try and get that all out of there before I put this through my brows. And then I just comb through, make it look as nice as I can, I guess. I'm never really too crazy. Oh good, that's just a brow hair. Well, I didn't pluck them this morning, so that would explain it. So there you go, that's what a groomed, waxed brow for me looks like. By the way, I already have powder in my brows, so they're already filled in. I figured that's self-explanatory, but here's the brow gel. <coughs> that is really stinky. I don't even know what to compare that to. It's like a mix of paint and nail polish remover. All right. Okay, so it feels very wet. This is very strange, you guys. It's 
So there it is. It looks wet. It looks wet. Literally feels like I did that thing where you know you lick your two, like your thumb and your pinky or whatever fingers it is. I don't actually do this, so I don't know what it is. But you lick them and then you put them through your brows like that at once. It feels like I just did that. Okay, not used to that feeling. Oh, yep, still wet. So there they are. They both look good. It's just that my left eye looks like it's got a bit of jerry curl in it or something. But who knows, maybe that'll go away with time. I'm hoping, because there's not a comfortable feeling. All right, well, there's nothing else to do with my brows except go out in the world and hopefully enjoy. Yeah, so I guess I will just see you all in a second here on YouTube land. I'll probably be dancing in my car the next time you see me, so. All right, see you then, bye. <laughs>
I don't really have money laying around for a new camera. Would it be awful for me to make like an Indiegogo account or whatever? I don't even know how that all works, but to make one of those and like ask you guys to like donate even a dollar? There's no incentive other than there won't be a black spot on my camera anymore, but unless well, until I get a new one, there's nothing I can do about it. I don't know where I left off because my battery died. <laughs> oh, camera, you're just falling apart. I'm pretty sure I was talking about setting up an Indiegogo account. Is that a thing, you guys? I don't want to sound like I'm trying to take things from my people, you. Really, I, I don't have the money to buy myself a new camera and I would definitely get like the cheapest one that I can find that will still like make HD video. I think the one that I'm using now, I found it used on Amazon for like 200 bucks. So that's what I would shoot for again. So if even some of you donated a dollar, that would be awesome. That would blow my mind. Yeah. Is that asking too much? I'm sorry. I really do love you guys though. Otherwise, let's check on the brows. Shall we? <laughs> oh yeah, check out the black spot. Hey. I'm telling you guys, it's gonna be there. There, we'll blend it in with my glasses a little bit. So yeah, here are my brows. I'm pretty sure they look exactly the same. The one with the gel just feels crunchier. It feels like when you have paint on your skin, like acrylic paint, and then it dries and then you rub your finger over it. You can see though, that's nice. Nothing transferred. Same with the wax. Let's see. Nice and flexible and soft, like real hairs. Also, nothing transferred. So yeah, there's my brows, you guys. Um, what do you think? Was that like the most worthless video ever? Uh, <laughs> I don't feel like I came to any real sort of conclusion other than I do prefer my brow wax. I don't know though, it's, it's your personal preference. That's just, that's the way life works. I don't think I'd shoot either of the products down. They're both good, they both held my brows in place. I just personally don't like the crunchy feel of a gel. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with my wax. I mean, I'll be able to use that gel up too, but I won't necessarily enjoy it as much as the wax that I have. I hope you all are well. I hope this video was somewhat helpful or entertaining or something. I don't know, whatever you want out of my videos, but not certain things. You nasty. I hope you're well, and until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!